Well, it's no secret, I love bow hunting wild pigs. It doesn't take much money or travel time since I live close to where they live in Southern California. I love the challenge of getting up close and personal with them, of learning their habits, what they eat, and when and where they travel, and why. I love learning all about the game I pursue. I'm often asked, when's my favorite time to hunt wild pigs? And my standard answer is, anytime. I hunt hogs spring, summer, fall, and winter. Seems that spring is when I see the most activity in my areas, and I guess that's because the food supply is so abundant. Glassing is my favorite way of locating hogs. I'll try to get up high in a good area where I can glass a lot of country during early morning or late evening, and more often than not, I'm rewarded for my efforts. But mostly, I guess, I just enjoy watching them. And I'm not alone. Even the other critters come out to watch the show. Sometimes I get real lucky and get to follow a sow and her young back to her nest. You've got to be careful with this, but oftentimes I'm rewarded by the sights and sounds of motherhood. In this video, however, we're going to experience a different kind of birth. Let's follow two bow hunters in their quest for their first big game animal with a bow and arrow. Carson, congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, nice shot too, man. What do you figure your distance was on that? Oh, probably 20 yards. 20 That's the yards. pin I used, and it went right on him, so. Yep, yep, just about what I told you we'd probably get that yeah. range at. Yep, yep. yep that Here I was practicing at 40. <laughs> <laughs> Don't usually have to do that on yeah. the wild hog. We, get, we usually get pretty close to them. But uh, I think you were telling me this is your first big game animal with a bow. Yep. How you feeling right about now? Really good. I didn't get as nervous as I thought I would, so that was good, but yeah, yeah. it was awesome. That was cool. We actually had some time to watch them. There were two hogs, and when we were stalking them and getting in close, we actually had plenty of time to kind of get your breath and kind yeah. of think about what you were doing and everything. And Man, I mean, you act like an old pro, man. I didn't see no shakes, no nothing. No, I was surprised, actually, so. <laughs> good job, good job. Well-placed arrow. Hog probably went from where you shot him to where he laid down, I want to say, 35, 40 yards tops. So, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, he went down quick. Good boar, good eating size, and uh, man, it don't get no better than this. Yeah, now the work starts. All right, yeah, man, this is great. Yeah, well, let's say a prayer over him. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your many blessings, Lord. Yes. You're so amazing in all your many ways, Lord. Yes. We ask you just, Bless over this animal, Lord, and let it provide for our, my family, Lord. And yes, we thank you for the experience to hunt in your great country, Lord. 
Yes. We love you and thank you for all that you do. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good job, buddy. Thank Good you. Good job. Okay. Good deal. See that big rock right over there? Just to the left of it, you can see a tail wiggling right there. That cow carcass is right there. There's a hog feeding right there on that cow. Right. It looks like a pretty good boar. You see? Yeah. Okay. I think while we got the wind in our favor, if you move right around to the right, you'll be able to go right up to that rock. And if, as long as you're slow and quiet, you're probably going to get a pretty close shot. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's back out and go that way. sir that's what the hog hunting's all about 
Yeah. Thank you. Was that fun or what? A blast. <laughs> I tell you what, we we got real lucky with having this uh, hog uh, feeding on that uh, on that cow carcass and got you in. Man, uh, I watched you stalk around that rock trying to get the right angle and everything. And what do you figure the shot distance was when you shot this thing? About five yards. Oh man, five yards is close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Looked like when he when you when your arrow hit him, he spun and kind of came back in your came direction. Right. That's yeah. why you kind of went uphill a little bit yeah, to kind of give him room rock. to get by. Yeah, I went yeah. up on the rock, yeah. That is cool. It's always best to be safe with these things because you just never know. He's a good boar. He's probably uh, probably 250. And uh, he, we got him opened up, so he was a lot lighter to drag to this spot. But uh, yeah, he's probably at probably 250 pounds. He's a young boar. Uh, hasn't got a lot of exposed exposed tests, but he's got, uh, he's got some. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep, probably about an inch and a half, I would guess, on the choppers. But uh, that's, uh, he's gonna be a good, uh, probably right at the, the, as big as you wanna get and still have a decent eating hog. So, and that makes a difference. We, uh, we managed to uh, uh, leave this guy for a while. We thought he was down for the count. Um, and we ended up finding out that he that he wasn't as down for the count as we hoped. <laughs> uh, we got a, a second arrow in him, uh, angling forward, and uh, into, into the end of the lungs, and he went probably about 40, yeah, maybe maybe 60 yards total, and then got up into some thornberry, and and, and that was that. So uh, we were uh, we were thankful to thankful to put it put an end to his uh, to his uh, porky life. For some uh, for some good sausage and uh, just a whole lot of fun, just a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna give thanks to this guy uh, for this guy if we can, and uh, just give honor where honor is due for the good time that we've had together. Father, we just thank you so very much for the opportunity to to get into your outdoors and just enjoy the creation and to enjoy the critters, uh, to enjoy the big game that's here. We're thankful for this animal. Uh, it will not go to waste. Uh, we've got uh, some sausage plans uh, already in the mix. We're going to get this guy off the hill, and uh, it's going to provide some, some fine eating for, for several families. And we just give you the glory and you the praise for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All righty, good deal. Let's get this guy, uh, get this guy taken care of.